In today's video, we embark on an extraordinary journey into the realm of high vibration living, a concept that transcends the ordinary and opens doors to a life of authenticity and profound spiritual connection. This path is not just about navigating the physical world with grace and positivity. It's about tapping into a deeper layer of existence, rich with spiritual energy and consciousness. Drawing inspiration from the teachings of Dolores Cannon, a renowned figure in the exploration of spiritual phenomena, we delve into the essence of what it means to live at a higher vibrational frequency. Cannon's work sheds light on the profound impact our energy and consciousness have on our daily experiences and interactions. She posited that each individual radiates a unique vibrational energy, which is influenced by our thoughts, emotions and spiritual well-being. As we explore the signs of living at a high vibrational frequency, we'll see how these principles are not just abstract concepts, but tangible realities that manifest in our everyday lives. From the way we connect with others to the internal journey of self-awareness, every aspect of our existence is influenced by the vibrational energy we emit. Sign 1. Drawing attention with a vibrant aura. In the realm of high vibrational living, the first sign is unmistakable, a magnetic presence that captivates and draws the attention of those around. Individuals who embody this high vibration possess an aura of confidence and positivity that is not just felt internally, but is also visibly radiated. It's an energy that is both seen and felt, creating an almost tangible atmosphere of warmth and approachability. Cannon's teachings on energy fields provide a profound understanding of this phenomenon. According to Cannon, every individual emits an energy field or aura that extends beyond the physical body. This aura is not just a metaphorical concept. It's a real and vibrant energy that others can perceive consciously or subconsciously. A high vibration person's aura is charged with positive energy, making it brighter and more attractive. This energy can be sensed by others often drawing their gaze and piquing their curiosity. This concept aligns with Cannon's ideas about how spiritual energy can influence physical reality. In her view, the energy we emit is a direct reflection of our inner state, our thoughts, emotions and spiritual well-being. When someone operates at a high vibrational frequency, their positive internal state manifests externally. Their presence becomes a beacon, attracting attention, not just because of their physical appearance, but because of the energy they project. This magnetic presence is more than just superficial attention. It is an unconscious recognition by others of the positive and uplifting energy that high vibrational individuals bring into the world. It reflects a deeper spiritual truth that we are all interconnected through a web of energy and our personal vibrations have the power to impact others around us. Sign two, harmonizing the divine masculine and feminine energies. In the pursuit of a high vibration life, an essential sign is the cultivation of both divine masculine and divine feminine energies. This integration speaks to a deeper understanding and expression of these energies in their purest forms, transcending the distorted views often perpetuated in society. The Divine Feminine is characterized by attributes such as abundance, self-love, vulnerability and the capacity to receive. It's about nurturing an inner richness and fullness that overflows into the creation and nourishment of life around us. This energy challenges the skewed perception that femininity is solely about self-sacrifice and neglecting one's own needs for the sake of others. Instead, it embraces the idea of having so much self-love and inner abundance that it naturally extends to those around us without depleting our own resources. On the other hand, the Divine Masculine is about balancing assertiveness with empathy and respect. Contrary to societal notions that equate masculinity with emotional suppression and aggression, the Divine Masculine embodies calculated risk-taking, confidence and the understanding that showing emotions, including tears, is a sign of strength. It involves standing up in defence of oneself and others 
not through violence, but through courage and bravery. Both these archetypes, when balanced, contribute significantly to our vibrational frequency. The divine feminine allows us to be open, receptive and nurturing, while the divine masculine empowers us to take action, defend the right causes and be confident in our decisions. Embracing both the divine masculine and feminine leads to a more harmonious and authentic expression of ourselves. It involves honouring both aspects within us, understanding that each has its unique strengths and contributions to our overall well-being. As we strive to balance these energies, we align more closely with our true nature, elevating our vibration and enriching our experience of life. Sign 3. Authenticity irritates toxic people. A less talked about but equally significant sign of being a high vibrational individual is how authenticity can often irritate toxic people. This phenomenon arises from the inherent conflict between the sincerity of authentic living and the insincerity that characterizes toxic behavior. People who are grounded in their truth and exude authenticity tend to inadvertently provoke those who are not at peace with themselves or who rely on manipulation, deceit, or negative behavioral patterns. Dolores Cannon's teachings about vibrational mismatches shed light on this dynamic. She posited that every person operates at a certain vibrational frequency, and these frequencies can either harmonize with or disrupt one another. High vibrational individuals, who often embody qualities like honesty, integrity, and transparency, naturally operate at higher frequencies. These frequencies can be unsettling for those who exist in lower negative energetic states. The presence of someone living authentically can act as a mirror to toxic individuals, reflecting back to them the personal work they have yet to address. This mirroring can be uncomfortable and even irritating for those not ready to face their own truths. Moreover, Cannon highlighted that higher frequencies tend to disrupt lower ones, causing a sort of energetic dissonance. When high vibrational individuals enter the space of someone harboring negativity or toxicity, it can create a sort of energetic clash. The higher frequency doesn't just coexist with the lower one, it challenges and often unsettles it. This disturbance is not intentional, but is a natural consequence of the differing energies coming into contact. This sign underscores the importance of maintaining authenticity as a form of spiritual and personal integrity. Living authentically is not just about being true to oneself, it's also about holding a space of higher vibrational energy that can, in the long run, inspire positive changes in others. For those on the receiving end of this irritation, it can eventually become a catalyst for self-reflection and personal growth, even if it initially manifests as discomfort or resistance. Sign 4. Animals feel safe around you. A hallmark of high vibrational individuals is the remarkable comfort and trust that animals often display in their presence. This sign is a testament to the deep non-verbal connection that exists between all living beings, a connection that is profoundly understood and respected by those who operate at higher energetic frequencies. Animals, with their innate sensitivity to the energies around them, are particularly attuned to the vibrations emitted by humans. They can sense, often with remarkable accuracy, the intentions and emotional states of the people they encounter. When an animal feels safe and at ease around a person, it is a clear indicator that the individual is radiating a vibration of peace, love and harmony. This sense of safety is not just a response to a gentle touch or a calming voice, it's a deeper recognition of a benevolent and nurturing energy field. Dolores Cannon's teachings shed light on the significance of this connection. She emphasized the importance of non-verbal communication and energy exchange between living beings. According to her, every interaction involves an exchange of energy, and this exchange is most harmonious when both parties are aligned in a state of balance and positivity. High vibrational individuals, through their heightened spiritual awareness, are often in tune with these subtle energies. They naturally emit a frequency of compassion and understanding that animals instinctively respond to. 
Furthermore, Cannon's concept of spiritual ecology highlights the interconnectedness of all life forms. She believed that every creature plays a vital role in the balance of the natural world and that respecting this balance is crucial for spiritual growth. High vibrational individuals inherently understand and embody this principle. Their interactions with animals are based on a profound respect for life and an innate understanding of the natural harmony that exists within the ecosystem. This respectful and loving approach towards animals is not just beneficial for the creatures themselves, it also contributes to the individual's own spiritual journey. The mutual exchange of trust and affection between high vibrational people and animals is a beautiful manifestation of the unity and interconnectedness within the natural world. It serves as a tangible example of how living in harmony with all beings enhances our own vibrational frequency and deepens our connection to the environment around us. Sign five, strangers feel compelled to share personal stories. One of the more intriguing signs of being a high vibration individual is the frequency with which strangers may feel compelled to share their personal stories with them. This phenomenon stems from the compassionate and empathetic nature inherent in high vibration individuals, which creates a safe and welcoming space for others. It's as though their aura extends an invisible invitation for openness and trust. The empathetic nature of these individuals goes beyond mere understanding. It is a profound resonance with the emotions and experiences of others. They naturally emit an energy of warmth and genuine concern, which makes people around them, even those they have just met, feel seen, heard and valued. This sense of safety and acceptance often encourages strangers to open up and share aspects of their lives that they might not typically discuss with someone they've just met. Dolores Cannon's teachings about soul connections provide a deeper context to this occurrence. Every encounter we have is an opportunity for a soul connection, an exchange of energy that can be meaningful and transformative. High vibration individuals often operating with a heightened sense of spiritual awareness are adept at recognizing these connections. They engage with others in a way that honors the spiritual essence within each person. This recognition of spiritual energy in everyday encounters can make these interactions deeply fulfilling for both parties. Furthermore, the uplifting and optimistic presence of high vibration individuals naturally encourages others to open up. Their positive outlook on life can be contagious, providing a sense of hope and possibility that others find appealing and comforting. When someone radiates such positivity, it can light up the environment, making it easier for others to drop their guards and share their experiences and perspectives. Sign six, influencing the energy of a room. The ability to influence the energy of a room is a significant sign of a high vibrational individual. This phenomenon is not just about making an entrance, it's about the subtle yet powerful energy shift that occurs when such a person enters a space. High vibrational people carry with them an aura of positivity and peace that can be felt almost immediately upon their arrival. This energy shift is palpable, often changing the dynamics of the room, altering moods and uplifting the collective atmosphere. Dolores Cannon's teachings on the power of collective consciousness provide insightful context to this phenomenon. She believed that each person's energy field contributes to the collective energy of a group. When someone with a high vibrational energy enters a room, they bring with them a higher frequency that can elevate the collective consciousness of the group. This elevation is often subtle, manifesting as a feeling of lightness, increased positivity or a sense of calm. It's a testament to how individual energy fields can significantly influence group dynamics. Cannon also emphasized the interconnectedness of all beings and the impact of individual energy fields on the collective. A high vibrational person, often unconsciously, radiates an energy that is in harmony with universal energies. This harmony can bring balance and positivity to a space, aligning the energies of those present with higher frequencies. 
the effect can be likened to a tuning fork, where the vibration of one can bring others into a similar resonance. Moreover, the aura carried by high vibrational individuals often serves as a catalyst for positivity. Their presence can inspire others to shift towards a more positive mindset, encourage more mindful interactions, and foster a more harmonious environment. This impact is often unintentional. It's a natural byproduct of their authentic way of being and their alignment with higher spiritual frequencies. Sign 7. Unintentional envy from others. The seventh sign of being a high vibrational individual is the unintentional envy that may arise in others who observe the fulfilling and authentic life led by such individuals. This envy is often a subconscious reaction to witnessing someone live in a state of high vibrational alignment, exuding happiness, peace and a sense of purpose. While these qualities are inherently positive, they can sometimes trigger feelings of envy in those who may be struggling with their own personal journeys. Dolores Cannon's teachings on soul growth and evolution provide a valuable perspective on this phenomenon. According to Cannon, each soul is on its own unique path of development and faces different challenges and lessons along the way. When someone observes a high vibrational individual living a life that seems harmonious and fulfilled, it can highlight their own areas of dissatisfaction or unfulfilled potential. This contrast can be both inspiring and challenging, serving as a reminder of what is possible, but also of what has not yet been achieved in their own lives. Cannon suggested that witnessing high vibrational living acts as a mirror, reflecting back to individuals their own spiritual and personal states. The envy that arises is less about the person they are observing, and more about their own internal struggles and aspirations. It signifies areas where they may need to focus on their growth and development. In this way, the envy experienced is not a negative reflection on the high vibrational individual, but rather an indication of the observer's inner work and journey. It's important to reinforce that this envy is not a flaw or a failing of the high vibrational individual. Rather, it's an inevitable part of the diverse tapestry of human experience and spiritual evolution. High vibrational living, by its very nature, challenges norms and pushes boundaries, which can sometimes be confronting for others. Sign 8. Natural connection with children. The eighth sign of being a high vibrational individual is a profound and natural connection with children. Children, in their essence, are embodiments of purity and simplicity. They operate on frequencies that are unencumbered by the complexities and biases that often cloud adult perceptions. This intrinsic purity makes children exceptionally sensitive to the energy fields around them. They are naturally drawn to individuals whose vibrations resonate with authenticity and positivity. Dolores Cannon's insights into the energy fields of children offer a deeper understanding of this connection. According to her, children's energy fields are open and unfiltered, allowing them to perceive and be influenced by the energies around them more directly than adults. They are, in a sense, natural detectors of authenticity. When a child encounters someone with a high vibrational energy, they intuitively sense the purity and truth in that energy. This creates an instant bond of trust and affection, as children are inherently drawn to what feels genuine and loving. High vibrational individuals often resonate with this unfiltered, innocent perception of children. They share a similar clarity and simplicity in their approach to life, even amidst the complexities of adulthood. This resonance is not just about being childlike, it's about embodying a level of authenticity and genuine positivity that children instinctively recognize and respond to. Children, in their intuitive wisdom, are attracted to people who reflect their own innate truths. They find comfort and joy in the presence of those who are not just physically present, but are also emotionally and energetically available and transparent. This is the essence of the connection between high vibrational individuals and children, a shared frequency of simplicity, honesty and joy. This natural affinity goes beyond mere playfulness or a gentle demeanour. It's a deeper, energetic alignment that allows for a meaningful and enriching interaction between adults and children. 
High vibrational people, through their authentic way of being, tap into the same frequency that children operate on, creating a harmonious and nurturing exchange. It's a beautiful cycle of energy where purity, joy and authenticity are both given and received, demonstrating the powerful and positive impact of high vibrational living on the younger generation. As we conclude today's video, we reflect on the transformative journey of living a high vibration life. Living at a high vibrational frequency isn't merely an aspiration. It's a practice that involves embracing authenticity, nurturing a deep connection with both the living world and the spiritual realm, and maintaining a state of consciousness that uplifts ourselves and others. The signs we've explored are tangible manifestations of this elevated way of living. They are reminders of the potential each of us holds to influence the world positively. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us remember the power of our vibrational energy. Let's strive to live authentically, resonate with love and positivity, and embrace the unique journey each of us is on. By doing so, we contribute to a world where high vibration living is not just a concept, but a reality experienced by many. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of high vibration living. May this journey inspire you to cultivate a life of deep spiritual connection, authenticity and positivity.